guys, this is Pavna and you're watching The Smart Cookie. Today we're going to talk about portion control, which many experts say is key to both losing weight and maintaining ideal weight. Now you've heard advice like eat a piece of meat for dinner or have a handful of nuts as a snack. But what exactly does that mean? What does it look like? How big should the piece of meat be? And what does a handful of nuts look like? Uh, now in a handful, I can grab these many nuts. Should I be eating these many nuts? Well, wonder no more. I'm here to clear all your doubts. Now let's start with my favorite, rice. Now I have to have rice every single day. Nutritionists say if you have a cup of rice per meal, you're fine. Well, here's a cup. Should I be eating this much rice every meal? Obviously not, that would be absurd. So how much rice should I have? Well, here's a visual clue. See the size of this ball? If you have this much rice per meal, you're fine. And the same goes for pasta as well. Now let's talk about meat. You're wondering how much meat should you have per meal? Well, see this pack of cards? This is exactly the amount of meat you need to have and this will ensure you get a healthy and high protein meal. All right, so you're feeling a little snacky and you want to munch on something, so you reach for a handful of nuts. How big is a handful? Well, if it's almonds you're reaching for, it should have no more than 22 pieces. Something that looks like this. So here are two plates. How big should your dinner plate be? Well, if you don't want to overeat, you want to go for a smaller plate. Ideally, an eight inch plate should work just fine. It will give you the illusion that you've taken a lot of food and help you eat less. Also, the next time you're reaching for that namkeen dabba, have a glass of water instead. Often, we mistake thirst for hunger. And definitely don't eat just because you're bored. Call a friend and chat on the phone instead. And finally, remember to have up to six small meals a day. This way, you're eating often and will still not overeat. Here's to healthy eating throughout the day. We'll see you on the next episode of The Smart Cookie.